we're going to have to catch the rest later because right now. One on FD. Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I saw right. grabbing like, this is serious. Because <laughs> he's grabbing, man. Grabbing is the lamest move. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> and I think they did the right move and they turned uh, paws off, which is why you're seeing Tetris going on over here. Or Lemmings, rather. You ever play Lemmings? Old com say? Lemmings, old computer game? Of course game? I have, dude. Okay, I'm a retro gamer. I love those kind of things. What's the music? Da -da 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 -da. No, that's a different game. Let me, you probably don't know the music of Lemmings, but you know the concept. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Man, that's not we, important. We probably can go over to Smash Time Legends and get a copy. Get old Lemmings. Fiction. Playing the Blue Fox, Mac D, and the Blue Peach. Going against Lucky and the Red Fox. So it looks like uh, Fiction is definitely focused on the Falco right now. Because mm -hmm. he has not the one hit on the Fox yet. We might see that change. Okay. That was a nice trade for it coming out of Mac D, putting uh, Mango in that position, but he just couldn't keep him contained. He got out jumped. Character situation. Jumps out there. Mango taking a bit of a risk. Ooh, nice down smash to just break everything up. Set up this edge guard scenario. So Mac D's known for being amazing in teams, right? Yes, yes, he is. That's his shine, that's his forte, that's wow. what he strives for, that's what he lives for, and that's what he gets the edge guard for. I don't think for. I've ever seen that, where he like jumped out, then floated off so to get the back air really far off stage. So good up? use of Peach's uh, mechanics right there. Oh yeah, good, good knowledge. Good bravery as well, because it's uh, kind of scary to jump out there as a fox when you know you have a uh, Falco lurking behind you with that dangerous down air. So cleans up the two stocks there, looking like fox again. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying, um, like once you've used your jump and your first Peach, you're kind of screwed once you're on stage. Magdy doesn't know any fear though. <laughs> He's a robot. He, he literally diving in, dash attacking in on a fox and a falcon at the same time. He's not worried about anything. Wow, lucky. Wow, he just got the most out of that 2v1. That was impressive. He uh, pushed uh, Fiction off to the side. Got a delayed back air, a light back air, just so he can set up his own up air. And I like the lasers. Couldn't oh, get anything because no. there were shields in the way. Okay. Fiction keeping it safe. And uh, that's tough. Okay. How's MACD going to go in this 2v1? He's trying to find some space. Took a little bit of damage, but he, he's all right. You see him again. You see Mac, he's, he's actually playing on point a lot. Ooh, Ooh with that hit, reverse. That would be cute. I kind of wonder if he could have threw a back air there instead, but I think he just wanted a hit of any kind because if he'd have knocked him back, Fiction was in the position for an up smash or an up air, or even a back air. It paid off anyway, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. It's a bit of a scramble because, like, all in between each other. <laughs> but this, the thing is, every time Mac D's getting touched, he's at 128. So, like, a weak back air like that sets up a quick two on one. Ooh, Ooh a shine saved him, right? Yeah. Mac D got clipped with an up smash by a Fox up smash, but uh, nice. Fiction saved him for a second. Well, actually, saved him with the up smash, but lost his stock in the process. There goes Mac this D. Is such a close game. This is completely doable for uh, Fiction and Mac D. Both teams. Oh, mm. But if she's got a float, it doesn't matter, it's Peach. You're right. <laughs> I remember back in like a long time ago, like, yes, I've shined Spe Peach, but now it's <laughs> like a mission to Edge Garner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Nice turn around up smash from Lucky, clean up the Peach. This is. Oh, oh no! Wow. Why, okay, we okay. Wow. Plot, wow. plot twist, it was all part of the plan. Dude, it always happens in teams. Like, someone does something completely crazy, and then they just win somehow. <laughs> yeah, fix, ooh, Fiction has to keep this close, though. He has to keep this air tight. He can't throw an up smash out. So he's, ooh, that could have been, no, like, been lucky gone, but he missed the back air. Damn. That was a great game one. That was super tense. Where do we go for game two? Dreamland, if it's not bad. <laughs> but the problem is... With, uh, again, coordination is the name of the game this far in the teams. Sure, Peach lives so long, but that also could be a curse to them because if she's living at 120, 130, that's time that Lucky and Mango run into two on one on fiction. Against um, this team as well, we were playing a lot of FT against them, and they seem to be quite comfortable on the stage. So I, that's probably why they picked the stage. They're, like, they're so used to playing um, teams on the stage rather than the other ones. Mm -hmm. Nice by Mango to take point, set up this uh, double edge guard scenario. Yeah, some control from the red team there. Oh, yeah. Back to getting a good roll behind down smash. And that was a nice heads up play by Mango to hit the deck because he would have been done. Now this is reverse of what happened a second ago because they were getting double edge guarded for a second. 
<laughs> Damn, the damage has been done right now. Like, stock lead and percent. Oh, yeah. Nice angle by... Uh, wow, that still hits. So, wow. Ooh. That was crazy. <laughs> like, um, Falcon got hit by, uh, I think, a weak neutral air, and he got sent spinning backwards like a, like a little, like, dreidel. <laughs> <laughs> scenario we see time and time again but we're down to it's just so hard <laughs> to break up the control they have on the ground Ooh, fiction with a bit of Texco flops there <laughs> happens MACD again on point chasing after Mango going all the Very way out nice. there there's no hitbox there so it's free uh free nair free nair that ain't fox not at all <laughs> <laughs> Yo, good power. That was actually a really important power shift that allowed him to get in there and break the formation. Couldn't really do anything for him, but they had control. They had control. They just wow. Mango won his one-on-one -on -one <laughs> and lucky cleaned oh them both That's off the, the set. That's the thing in teams. That's the thing in teams where you get hit by something that's not meant for you and it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the most, like, sordiest things that happen in happens in teams. You get hit by something random and it's like, dude, that wasn't even meant to hit, hit me. Screw that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was that was cute. That was like synchronized swimming in the air, dude. These clowns, right? Here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about people that are uh, great minds thinking like? Excuse me. You want to talk about great minds thinking like? That's what that you have right amazing. there. <laughs> what oh, were they even man. doing? <laughs> were they both the, trying to hit each other to get high? Yeah, yeah. They're both trying to hit each other. They're saving each other. So from that scenario, there's no other way they can go. Up beating to each other, Ooh. just to pop each other just up. Does it? And fiction, <laughs> really bad. Wow. Mango, what are you doing? It's no big deal. <laughs> I, I, I really think it's no big deal at this point, just because fiction can't work his way back to the middle. I'm trying to think, FD didn't pan out in their favor again. Don't want to go to a big stage because of the problem you have of a peach at a high percent. You don't want to go to a small stage because you just get ran over. I mean, sure, Peach can control a lot of space with a down smash, but she's got to find the space to get out of her shield. So I can agree with going back to FD for game three. I think the two HP shines is if um, you get a clear, like, good game with the support where you're, like, punishing, capitalizing mistakes, and your team partner plays a main role in front. Or the opposite is where you play a small stage like Yoshi Story and cause chaos. That I completely, I'm, I'm sitting here focused on this. I agree with you, but I'm just looking at Mac D controlling the left side of the stage with that down smash, that blender is in effect. Dashing in again on Mango, going Very out there, nice. chasing him down. And Mac D just going and, out every time and getting them. Yeah, he's the reason we have this two stock lead, but there's no, nothing stole. fiction can do at this point. Oh, Mango, chasing Mango him. going ham. He chased him to the skies. Doesn't mean anything, though. Can't run from me. <laughs> Damn, if that hit both of them, that would be bad. And I and I like the idea that Mac D had. He was gonna go ahead and clean Lucky up. He just couldn't get the nair out in time. But it looks like they're gonna get Mango. Lucky tried to get the save, couldn't get anything done. And uh yo, you see this lead? Do you see this lead? This is a different game. Oh Ooh, that's good it tech. though. Falcon's recovery sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he has a lot of the uh, a lot of options. More similar, the same option to Fox is not the distance, it's still one of the worst, one of the lesser recoveries. In. That was like a he just got drilled, to his, the, the game he gave up. Yeah, this now they knew they screwed up this game because, um, as soon as he got hit by that down air, the demoralizing down air just went straight down. It's like, nah, yeah. this game, next game, GG, pack it up, pack it up. You got this one. <laughs> that was uh, they're just like they're not phased at all, they're just like, whatever, next game. Well, they get two counter picks. Exactly. So they got all the time in the world. And of course, Pokemon Stadium is legal. Straight to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Immediately pulling out the gun starting off game four. Nice. Crouch cancel. MACD there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Takes Not a good crouch cancel, but it happens sometimes. He was expecting something else, possibly a jab, and was looking for a uh, CC shine. And uh, he uh, surprised behind door number three. He got peached. <laughs> Nice down air, uh, four smash setting up this 2v1, but it looks like Lucky's more concerned about cleaning it up with the up smash. Mang Mac mm. D is bullying Manga right now. Damn. And with all things being said and done, Mac D and Fiction still have a one-stock lead. 
My dude's putting in the luck. Great up there. We still have a a ne uh, important stock uh, percent lead. Excuse me, I'm trying to find the words for this. <laughs> important 78 because as long as they hold it, Fiction couldn't hold it. But 92, they can still set up good edge guards like this on Mango. Yeah, and MACD is not missing them as well. He is making the most out of every edge guard he can. Making all the good reads, calling the jumps, looking for the angles. Guess Mango's number so on uh, edge guards? Possibly. Damn. Holding oh, the box off, keeping Mango out right now. Fiction on point, trying to find anything. There's nothing else. Trying to keep him. He rolled with me. He was in his head. He knew. He's in his head. In your head. He yeah, he's totally in luck. He's head with that. <laughs> okay. Fiction trying to trying to feed Mac. He's some setup. Trying to keep Lucky contained. Ooh. Back to my. There we go again. Good air. Oh my. And Mac D just like ran him with a float in there randomly yeah. and cleaned them out. Wasn't expecting that at all. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. Where were they going to go? There was no platforms they could really get to in the situation. And the thing is, even if he hit uh, Fiction, he was on the other side, so he wasn't going to die regardless. Exactly. Fiction trying to keep Mango walled out. Can't really do it. And Mango's going in immediately on Mac. They, they, won, that, to they won that quick kill. They couldn't get it. They couldn't get it. Woo! And it, that looks disastrous. It happens. It's just the kind of thing that happens. And hey, there you go. Fox. You know, he's living. He's Ooh, living. And the, wow. And the let's that. I've not seen that. Of, you have? No, get up attack and then uh, drop stone there. That it's was impressive. <laughs> Mac Wow. The, this is not looking like it's in control of Mango, uh, Mango and Lucky anymore. And that was their counter pick. Yes, that was their first one. And they got controlled most of the match. Mac Magdi has put in a lot of work, and Fiction is getting the kills at the right time. Game three. Oh, we switched to double Fox. I think they want to try and get that Peach more often. Because Falco is not getting the kills on Peach, and Mango's getting quite desperate with like, the kind of random up B kind of kills. I, th I think another thing that he's possibly thinking of is scenarios like that, where um, Magdi's been hitting a lot of offstage edge guard. Yep. He's going out a lot. So by switching to Fox, he, he gets the option to fade away and look for other resources to recover rather than having to stay close to the ledge in the range of MACD. Yeah, and like other options like a better stool in the air, for example. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we, maybe it's a better pick against Peach in general. We also get a little more stocking power right there with the up smashes and the four so smashes. This is, this is definitely paying up right now. Mac Do you know what Fox is Mango right now? I honestly couldn't tell you. Okay. We got Dark Fox, we got Light Fox. That's okay. all that matters. We got Ooh. the Fiction Fox, and we got the Mac D Peach. Looking to set up an edge guard. G couldn't get the bear to go the right way, but we're still working the two on one. A little bit of a two on one. Was that a stitch face? I couldn't tell. I, I was just more concerned about Mac D clearing the set. But she couldn't <laughs> make it out, but it happens though. We, I thought we were going into Fox. So we try, we're trying to separate him. We're trying to get Mac D had the two boxes by the edge. And he just wanted to uh, get them off straight away. But he got the one with the down smash. Yeah. And we got a, uh, we got our stock. We got an even game. High battle. Ooh. Nice high back here. Trying to keep Fiction out of the game. Oh, my. The platforms. That ledge actually saved uh, the light fox over there. Because Fiction got, to the, got on the inside. And he got the shine. But with the way the ledge is, he flipped and didn't go off the oh, stage. Oh, that's so unlucky. <laughs> unlucky. <laughs> yeah, because like he, um, did there. he didn't even hit his own team partner as well. So like, it was full like, it was just great for them. They got the kill, no damage taken. All right, Magni needs some of those fantastic edge guards. Definitely needs to come back in this game. They've got the space for it right now. He's just got to get to his feet. I think Mango's the light one. Pretty sure. How do you figure? Just, just staying on Magni. <laughs> Probably angry from the first game. Possibly. And the <laughs> you, you were looking over here. MACD had another unfortunate scenario that would have blew the game wide open. And he's still looking for him right now. He got an edge guard. He got uh, one of the boxes off. And he got the back here. He just went the wrong way. This is still an even game. Oh, yeah. But we get, blue team's got to get back in the center. Ooh. Oh, that was going to be a stock. That would have been huge. Oh, uh, no. And, and he let Fiction have it. So. It would have been completely curtains if yeah. MACD would have took the stock. This I wouldn't say curtains. That would be yeah. even. It would have been MACD by himself if he took the start right there because Fiction oh, was already yeah. off the stage. No, I was saying the uh, edge guard situation, um, like if uh, MACD got the kill there. If, if they would have hit any of those back airs, and really it was the back airs going their way because they hit.
two or three good ones. It's just they were a little too deep, so it knocked them back to the stage. So um, Double Fox paid off definitely there. I'd say it was a lot easier to control the Peach mm -hmm. with the pressure. Well, if you're winning one versus one on the other side of the stage, then that's definitely a winning situation right there. If the Peach can't do anything to help the team partner, because they separated them the whole game. Uh-huh.